Good afternoon and welcome to Ralph's house. Broom watching. <laughs> now I've been pretty busy this morning. Uh, firstly I had to run a back box for a single socket for the boiler. Because we want that on an independent fuse, don't we? Of course we do. And um, also chasing out a back box to put a new socket there. And uh, we'll be doing another one in the morning and probably one behind there. Running this ring main, connecting up this spur. Everything terminates on the landing somewhere. I'll figure out that out when I get to it. Uh, but the point is, once I've got all these in, because all the walls are flat now, as you know, apart from that box that I've chased in and just around these odd bits, but it's uh, it's flat, and then therefore I can wash everything down in here, wash the floor, and start painting. Uh, I would imagine that will be somewhere towards the end of the week or the weekend, which will be good because it means I can get out of here, I can shut the door, and uh, get on with another room, so I don't have to keep looking at this place over and over. Um, I've got all the walls nice and flat now, they're ready for painting, uh, but I can't start that until all the dust has settled and there's still going to be dust uh, because I've got to finish this ring main and uh, the boiler which is presently running off an extension lead, off an extension lead, off an extension lead, uh, well, it doesn't draw a lot, it's just for the timer and stuff. Um, needs its own spur which is a separate cable that goes all the way back to the fuse box I'm not sure I may run it on the ring may uh, it depends how things go uh, but either way I've got to chase this cable out which I've done a uh, bit of hard work with the chisel but there you go and then uh, chase this channel down which will go down behind the skirting so I've just got to get the drill bit out now and drill down there and then start feeding cable down there you are, but you haven't seen a weapon that big. <laughs> right, I think that'll do. Right, we'll just drill that hole out. Right, drill, drill that down there, let's just see if we can get a cable down. Oh yeah. Yeah, no problem there, plenty of room there to get a couple of cables in. So, I shall run some cable then, that's the next job. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use ingenious methods. <laughs> well, the trouble with this conduit is it tends to do that. So, what to do is wedge it in with a screwdriver just so it's below the surface. That's it. And then I can put my bonding plaster in there. Same at the bottom, I have to wedge a screwdriver in there as well. That's all right, it'll do the job. And uh, I shall just make up a mix and fill that up with bonding plaster. That'll all gone off by the morning and uh, then I'll feed a couple of cables up. Well, I think it's going to be a single cable. Uh, reason being is if I put the boiler on its own fuse, if any of the other circuits go, the boiler's still working. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, keep it on its own one. Uh, 2.5 is probably a bit thick, but it'll be all right. That'll do the job. We'll run a length of that. Uh, it's not the easiest run because you've got to, I'm going to have to cut the floorboards there I reckon, cut that cut that short, run it across because the jaw should run that way and uh, when at some point I'm going to have to come through because the fuse box is below the stairs over there. This is the thing is you've got to work out your routes. Anyway I'll make up a mix and uh, get that filled up. Alright plenty of PVA in there. <coughs> Yeah, there we go. I've already put plenty in there, but I want to make sure I've got a good bond. And start splodging it in. It's all mixed up anyway. Oh. So satisfying this job, you know what I mean? <laughs> Another dollop of that. <coughs> and I find it pays really to um, get this on quite early on because uh, I know I can get my cables down the bottom. And uh, if I get a layer on here now, 
then once the cables are in I've only got to fill that back box and uh, perhaps run some finishing plaster across the front of that and that'll be that done so right I'll fill this up there you go that's the bonding plastering that's good enough to hold that overnight uh, by the morning that'll be virtually gone off I think so anyway like as usual just left it just below the surface so I can go over it with the finishing plaster just to get that smooth finish at the end or polyfiller depending uh, but that's all right and then I've got my conduit at the top but I'll feed my cable down lift this board up pull the cable through and run that cable all the way down to the new fuse box so that's that uh, so now just carry on with the rest of this ring main in this room uh, which is that socket there that front of that's got to be replaced possibly the back box but hopefully not uh, the front of that's got to be replaced and a cable run under the floor and come over somewhere and the curtain getting in the way somewhere over in that corner of the room and uh, I may just reinstate the one behind the door I think three is enough in here really and it's got this uh, separate spur just for the boiler so I'll keep that nice and independent and that will just be a straightforward socket with no switch on it so uh, which is the right way to do it because then if the uh, plumber or the boiler repair man comes uh, to isolate it he's got to pull the plug out and that seems the safest way of doing it doesn't it really yeah and this will all be hidden anyway because I'm gonna box this in right the way down and uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to use any of the space beneath these pipes but we'll see I might be able to put a bit of plasterboard in at the back and uh, make a small cupboard I don't know what for really uh, but it's got to be boxed in I don't really want to be looking at this boiler uh, as I say this is my son's room and although it's a quiet boiler it'd be even quieter if it's boxed in uh, so that's it right we'll let that go off oh. <laughs> that was a noisy 15 minutes Oh, this thing's good uh, got to be careful where you use it otherwise it will just pull all the plaster off <laughs> Uh, but it made short work of chasing that back box out, so, uh, but I won't put that in today, I'll do that in the morning and drill it and uh, roll plug it, put the socket in. Uh, don't, don't know if it needs conduit or not, I guess I'll put some in, just a short piece behind the skirting, I've got plenty of it. And uh, that'll do for today. Uh, I feel a bit dusty, feel I need a shower and there isn't a lot more I can do all that plaster goes off but at least now I've got that chased in I've already got that one there I've got the little ones chased behind the door tomorrow but that shouldn't be too bad just got to be careful with that because it's only a single wall and I don't want to lose some bricks so I'll probably have to go chiseling that by hand tomorrow anyway that was Monday fairly productive what a lovely day the rest of the week is expected to be wet and miserable what can you say <laughs> Uh, but there you go. That's it. That's uh, that's it from Ralph's house. Thanks for watching.